Well, good afternoon, and I want to thank everybody for being here today. I'm very pleased to introduce the Honorable Scott Kafker, who's currently the Chief Justice of the Massachusetts Appeals Court, a distinguished and highly experienced jurist who we are honored to nominate today to the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court. This is a big day. Chief Justice Kafker has served the citizens of the Commonwealth with distinction for over 25 years as a committed public servant. I had the privilege of working firsthand with him and getting a good look at his work ethic, his intelligence, and his collaborative spirit when we worked together during the Weld administration when he served first as Deputy Legal Counsel and then as Deputy Chief Legal Counsel to Governors Weld and Salucci. In March of 2001, the late Paul Salucci appointed Chief Justice Kafka to the Massachusetts Appeals Court, and I was pleased to appoint him as that court's Chief Justice in 2015. Over the course of his tenure on the bench, he's authored close to a thousand decisions dealing with complex and important legal issues. And as Chief Justice, he's made important strides in the data-driven management and modernization of the courts to be more efficient in its operations and service to its appellants. It's been an honor and a privilege for the Lieutenant Governor and me to have been given this historic and unprecedented opportunity to nominate five justices to Massachusetts' highest court during our first term. Chief Justice Kafka, if confirmed, would join our appointees, Justices Kimberly Budd, Frank Gaziano, Dave Lowy, and Ellie Seifer on the court after their unanimous confirmations last summer and earlier this year. All of them have hit the ground running, joining with their esteemed colleagues on the bench in dealing with the very difficult cases that are before them, and we're confident that Chief Justice Kafka would quickly and seamlessly join this terrific group. What I like best about uh, Scott Kafka is his optimism. What I wanted to just share with you is an answer to one of the questions in his application when asked to describe something about his personal background that would contribute uh, to his perspective as a member of the SJC. And he pointed to his uh, being a cancer survivor. And he commented that he, he, it, he knew that through cancer research and the care he received, it saved his life 25 years ago. But this statement really, I think, wraps up why uh, he is our nominee today. And he said, this reminds me the experience of surviving cancer. Every day, what a tremendous responsibility we all have when we take on an important position in an organization with a critical mission. Where the stakes are highest, whether that be a cancer hospital or a court of last resort, errors can have calamitous consequences. By contrast, Innovative research and extraordinary care and the performance of our work can have a tremendous difference in people's lives. That, to me, sums up your optimism. And we know that you will not only bring your professional abilities, but your personal commitment uh, to this position and will work hard throughout this process uh, to uh, achieve the advice and consent of the Governor's Council. And we wish you every success in that process. Thank you very much. And now, I would like to thank Governor Baker and Lieutenant Governor Polito for nominating me today to be an Associate Justice of the Supreme Judicial Court. I look forward to being considered by the Governor's Council for such an important responsibility. I have always believed that public service is one of our highest callings, and I've dedicated myself to the mission of state government since recovering from cancer in 1990. For the past 16 years, I've had the great honor of serving the citizens of the Commonwealth, first as a justice and eventually as Chief Justice of the Appeals Court. I have tried my best to decide every case fairly and impartially and treat every person in the judicial system with fairness and dignity and respect. I feel enormously privileged today to be considered for an appointment to the Supreme Judicial Court, a court that I greatly admire and which is the ultimate guardian of individual liberties and rights and the enforcement of due process and equal justice under law in the Commonwealth. I am deeply honored by this nomination and fully understand the sacred public trust committed to the Supreme Judicial Court. Thank you again, Governor Baker and Lieutenant Governor Polito. <laughs>